I used to be in charge of the visa section at the CIA's consulate at Jeddah, the principal city of the Hejaz in western Saudi Arabia. There, for a year and a half, I issued visas to terrorists recruited by the CIA and its asset, Osama bin Laden. At the time, I thought it was basically visa fraud. Somebody was paying $2,500 bribes to State Department officials. I was ordered by these same high State Department officials to issue the visas to shut up, to do my job, and ask no question. Uh, it wasn't one of these things where they wanted to visit their father in America, there was a question of where they worked, that sort of thing. It was basically two Pakistanis came to me one day and said, we want to go to a trade show in America. And I asked, what's the trade show? They didn't know. What city is it going to be held in? They didn't know. And I asked a few more questions, and I said, no, visa denied. You haven't proved to me that you're going to come to the United States, accomplish your business, and then return home. Well, a few minutes later, I had a phone call from a CIA case officer assigned to the commercial section. Issue the visas. And I said, no. And he said, well, it's important they get a visa. And I said, no. And a few minutes later, he was over talking to the chief of the consular section. Reversed me, issued the visas, and these guys took off. And he got his visa for national security reasons. And this went on for a year and a half. I, and I protested this. I protested to the Counselor for Consular Affairs in Riyadh. I protested to the Bureau of Consular Affairs in Washington. I protested to the State Department's Inspector General. I protected to the, protested to the State Department's Office of Diplomatic Security. I talked about this to the FBI, to the Justice Department's Office of Professional Responsibility, and I went to a couple of congressional committees. And by and large, I was told, shut up. Uh, you don't know what you're talking about. This is a difference of opinion. You don't know what you're doing. You're far too junior to question the, uh, the Consul General in and about the same time, I ran across two people, one of whom was a uh, government official, and another one was a person attached to a local university here in Washington. All three confirmed that what I was protesting was not visa fraud, but people being rounded up by the agency and Osama bin Laden to come to the United States for training as terrorists to be sent to fight in the war against the then Soviet Union in Afghanistan. They used roughly a million dollars in liquor sales a year from the consulate in Jeddah to fund this. And you might ask, well, as the Washington Legal Times did, that was then. This is now, 15 years later. Well, from what I read in the Los Angeles Times, 15 of the 19 people who f allegedly flew airplanes into buildings in the United States got their visas from the same CIA consulate at Jeddah. And according to a journalist in Florida, Sidney Friedberg, a Pulitzer Prize winning journalist, they got this through the Visa Express program where you handed in your documents and they packed them off in a bunch of uh, other documents, people traveling to the States for a legitimate reason with a legitimate travel agency. Well, Severino Castillo, the former DEA officer, told me this was common practice for the CIA in Central America. They put their guys in, hoping that the paperwork would be overlooked, that they wouldn't get too many questions asked. 